Der Academy for Teacher Training, the Hessische Lehrkräfte Academy. Um, it is available for every school or college in Hesse and it's for free. And we feel that the um, combination of Moodle and Mahara works very well. We use Moodle as our online classroom system, whereas Mahara focuses on personal learning experiences and the process of individual learning. Most of our students use the Moodle app when logging in to their um, online learning environment. And um, as most of you probably already know, the Moodle app is easy to install, easy to use and for free. And now um, I'm handing you over to Carl, who's going to show you a learning arrangement that my colleague Tina and I created for our students. So for most of my students, English is their second or third or even fourth language. So I'm well aware of the fact that probably many people in this session are native speakers and my fi may find the tasks that we set for the students very easy. Um, I kindly ask you to keep in mind that for most of my vocational students, English as a foreign language is really, really challenging. And um, well, now it's over to Carl. So, well, this is Carl. And um, I'm a virtual student at the Berufliche Schulen in Korbach and Bad Arolsen. First of all, I need to be very honest with you about the technology I can use at home. We do not have a computer and um, we also don't have a printer. I use my dad's old phone, uh, which is about three years old, and our family also owns a tablet. Um, but that is needed by my parents and my little sister as well, so we have to share. Um, I mostly use my dad's old phone when I study for school, and we have the Moodle app installed on both devices. And with the Moodle app, I can easily access my classes. Each class or course is shown with a picture, and all I have to do is just tap on the picture to access the course. And I'm going to show you a learning arrangement in my English classroom. It was a creative task that was set during the German lockdown um, when all the schools and colleges were closed and um, we all had to stay at home and weren't allowed to do anything. So, as you can see, the learning arrangement is, is, consists of three parts, which are stretched over a period of two weeks. Obviously, I have to make a choice at the beginning of the first week on Monday evening. After I've made my choice, I can access the first Wochenaufgabe, which means weekly task. Then there seems to be another task for the next week. I'm not sure whether you're familiar with the guidelines for our teachers during that time. Um, during the lockdown, teachers were required to design and publish a weekly task at the beginning of the week. And this task was due by Friday, and then the teachers had to provide feedback or use another form of assessment. Obviously, individual feedback would be very beneficial for students, but uh, not all teachers managed to do that, and there's a reason for that. The average teacher at a vocational school teaches about 24 lessons. That's about eight to 10 different groups of students depending on your subjects. And an average class is about 20 students. So you can imagine that our teachers had to set and assess a very large amount of assignments each week during the lockdown. So on the Monday evening, um, the Moodle app reminds me that I have to make my choice. And as you can see, I have to choose between six different products. Um, I could choose a nail varnish, a sports car, an instant meal, a brand of coffee, a brand of soft drink, and when I scroll down further a bit, a smartphone. I've chosen the smartphone and then I've saved my choice and now the actual task is shown to me. Um, I have to find a suitable German or international celebrity to endorse the product I've chosen. The actual assignment is designing a view in my ePortfolio. Um, consisting of these parts. Two reasons why I have chosen this particular product. 
a link to the picture of the celebrity or a picture of the celebrity, um, a link to the biography or the website of the celebrity. This has to be an English website or an English um, biography. And five reasons why I personally feel that this celebrity will be a good representative for my product. So personally, um, I really like creative tasks involving the ePortfolio. I enjoy designing the views and sharing my learning results with um, others. But I prefer um, the tablet or the computer when working with Mahara because it's more comfortable with the larger screen than with my smartphone's display. So that's why I'm showing you my view in Mahara on a tablet. Um, finding a suitable celebrity to promote a smartphone was quite a demanding task for me. And in the end, I've chosen Bibi. I'm not sure whether you're familiar with Bibi. Um, she's on YouTube and she's very popular with the girls in my class. Her channel is um, Bibi's Beauty Channel and she has nearly 6 million followers on YouTube. So I thought she'd be perfect to promote a smartphone. She can use it for her daily posts on Instagram and social media or to take pictures of her little family for live sessions. And she can show all her fans which smartphone she uses to produce content. And so I think she's the perfect celebrity for an endorsement deal if you want to push the sales figures of your smartphone. So once I have finished designing the view in my ePortfolio, I can easily submit it in Moodle. All I have to do is click on assignment submission and um, the app reminds me when the assignment is due, which is very comfortable. And then I choose which view I would like to submit for grading. And once my teacher has made the assessment, I receive a push notification or an email telling me that I now can access the evaluation of my work. And um, as you can see, I did really well. I've met most of the criteria and I can see which parts of my assignment were good and which parts need special consideration next time. For me, English is always a challenge and I really have to make sure that I proofread my text and check sentence structure and spelling next time. But apart from the language part, I'm very happy with the assessment by my teacher and I'm quite proud of myself. So then it's the weekend and I enjoy my time off with my family. And um, on the following Monday, um, the next weekly task pops up in my Moodle app and I realized that maybe choosing Bibi wasn't such a great idea after all. This week's task is to imagine that I was the celebrity and um, I have to give an interview and describe how I feel about promoting the smartphone and why I'm convinced that I'm a great ambassador of um, this product. Meaning I have to make a recording um, of my answers to their questions and how on earth am I going to know what BB would say? Well, I'll just have to use my imagination and um, make something up. So using the Moodle app, I can make a recording and the audio file is then saved automatically as my submission for the assignment which is really easy to use. All I have to do is write a script and um, then record it. However, I personally prefer another way of tackling tasks like this. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why. Just before Christmas, we produced short radio spots using the voice memo app. And I really like that I can edit these files and then share them with friends. And that's why I prefer to produce audio files with another app. And what I can do is I can then just copy the file to Moodle. And um, that is very convenient and easy. Um, all I have to do is instead of audio, I can just click on shared files and um, upload the recording. Both ways work perfectly well. And it's up to me how I manage to um, 
actually produce the recording of the interview. Until the deadline, I can always alter the file, meaning I can delete it and upload an improved version. And um, a couple of days later, I receive another notification from my teacher and I can check my grades. So, as you can see, I got 66 out of 100 points, not as good as my first submission. I think that was 88%. But um, my teacher sent me a nice feedback selling uh, she really liked my interview. So I guess I'm fine. So, and actually, uh, that's my last slide. Um, I'm very happy I was able to show you that uh, learning arrangement. And um, I'm handing you over to my teacher. And I'm very happy to... Um, answer your questions now if there are any regarding this learning arrangement. So I've checked the forum before the presentation. There were no questions, but maybe something popped up during the presentation. I haven't seen any fresh ones come in during the presentation. So Christine, thanks very oh. much for your presentation. That was a really yeah. interesting demonstration of a learner life cycle. So it, thank you very much for that. It was my pleasure giving the presentation. I'm a great fan of Moodle and um, yeah, stay safe. And um, I'll be in the German uh, room on Wednesday. So I'm happy to see you again. Thank you. Thanks very much, Christine. And next yeah. up we have okay. Melanie. Thank you. Next up, we have Melanie Worrell presenting to us sharing experiences from Africa to Asia for a development context. Thanks very much, folks. We'll be back very shortly.